Hello and welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. This is Tobias playing another match in the modern tournament practice room with Kaboom Bees. And I lost the die roll and I've been dealt a keepable hand because I can either while Forbidden Ore card, Blasphemous Act. Yep, I'm going to keep it. Hopefully, my opponent does not play black and discards my blasphemous act no he's playing tron so i of course hope that he's playing blue green tron <clears throat> and i am going to resolve an either while here only question is do i give him tokens and i think i have to give him tokens from the very first turn um to make my blood artist destroy uh, my blasphemous act is the one that is destroying but to make my blood artist have enough triggers from all the destroyed creatures so i'm sincerely hoping that i'm not playing utron or blutron no it's the cheap version of the green red tron deck and it's cheap because he's not playing the Grove of the Burn Willows, which is more expensive and by far more better. But against me it doesn't matter. Because I don't have that much pressure that uh, the life, the damage will matter. Or do I? I have a nice Bird of Paradise. That is really nice. Yes, I want to. And then I could resolve another either while I could fetch or I could play Gavony Township. I'm playing Township to conserve life total and then I'm going to play the Blood Artist. Which he hopefully cannot destroy. So next turn Next turn, is it already the turn I can play Boros Reckoner and Blasphemous Act? I don't think so. Will be another turn. No blockers here, buddy. And he does not have Tron, that's good. Three mana. Three colorless mana. What is he casting for three colorless mana? Nothing. Okay. Okay. Yes, put a counter on it, please. And this one. This one finally fetches me um red and green yes and then i'm going to pay red 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 for the boros reckoner might be a turn too early he now gets a chance to kill it that would be sad, sad indeed. But if he doesn't, he should be dead next turn. I don't want to attack. I don't want to block either or do I? Yes, no, I don't want to block. He could attack me and then play um, Pyroclasm and that would kill my Reckoner. Oblivion Stone is totally okay. Totally fine by me. No attackers, even more fine. Yes, put a counter on it. Okay. Yeah. Elvish Visionary. All right. 
Yes. So let's see, he's got three creatures, four creatures, and I've got three creatures. That's seven creatures. Seven creatures plus 13 damage is 20 damage. So this should be good, right? Nevertheless, I'm casting a visionary here. And I have another Blasphemous Act. Great. So how much for this? Boom, baby! That should be game. There is nothing you can do against the awesome power of Blood Artist. Combined with Boros Reckoner and Blasphemous Act. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. All the triggers on the stack and that's it thank you that was the first game of the match and of course it would be totally different had he had tron if he had tron then it would be a lot harder and against this version of tron i i am pretty sure i want to destroy his lands Natural affinity, want them both. I am. Um, <laughs> what do I board out? He does not play many creatures, so I don't want to suit a priest. That should be alright like this. Yes, um, guess that it's okay. We'll go for it like this. And then I have to read the Oblivion Stone, because Natural Affinity might be able to wreck him pretty good. It's pretty tough if you don't have any lands left when you are playing Tron. And I planned to use my Either Vile and Natural Affinity as much as I can against him. Okay. That looks great. That forbidden Ore card into Bird of Paradise, into Hornet Nest, into Blood Artist. Okay, I'm keeping. I don't have either while, but that's not so hard. Now he will be ready for my Blood Artist. And his start looks better than his last one. A oh, Voice of Resurgence. That's a nice one. It really is. So always yield to this, play the bird, play the bird, next turn I can play Hornet Nest, yes, <clears throat> and that's totally okay, no blockers here. Ghost Quarter. Okay. I can live with Ghost Quarter. Not a problem. Second Blood Artist. Yes. So I'm going for green. And green. And white. For the Hornet Nest. And that should stop the spirit tokens from attacking, I hope. Lorza's mine. So he could have Tron in his next turn, not in this turn. And he's pretty colorless, pretty heavy on colorless mana right now. So he needs colored mana to deal with my creatures. Maybe he wants to deal with my Forbidden Ore card, I don't know. Chromatic Star, so he can deal with my creatures now. Maybe. Pyroclasm, you know you want it. Green. 
ancient stirrings or servants crying ancient stirrings okay what did you reveal not the mine growth of the burn willows so i didn't do him right he's got the growth this one is even foil okay so it's not the cheap version of the deck it's the i don't know what it is version of the deck another forbidden ore card nice very nice let's play it then so this one makes black and red for the blood artist do i want to have another blood artist in play if he has his tron piece next turn he will have eight mana he can oblivion stone for eight mana but then all he succeeds is getting tremendous damage and me getting tremendous life so he needs Khan. that's okay i guess that is very much okay always yield to this so how much no 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 we want to do it next turn we want to do the blasphemous acting next turn that should be great should be great and i will have a voice yes should be good If he doesn't have Tron, he's in, in big trouble here. Pyroclasm, do it. I don't mind. Not at all. My own mass removal will be better, but you can Pyroclasm my Hornet Nest. That's okay. Because right now you're looking at 16 damage. And next turn, that's 18 damage. No more. Next turn you're dead if you don't do something right now. Just killing Forbidden Orchard isn't good enough. Those two blood artists will own you. Yes, not even Tron and Wormcore will save him. Tron and Karn, I don't think it will save him. So this is tough for him. And it doesn't look like he has Tron, so what is he gonna do? What can he do? I don't know. It's tough for the Tron player to control this type of creature deck because my whole game plan is to destroy my creatures. And here is the Tron. So seven mana, all is dust. That would be great. And it would be a possibility to get out of this. Seven mana Karn, Karn, yes, pretty good, pretty good. Remove my Hornet Nest, right? Removing my Hornet Nest, I don't recommend it. But you can, of course, do it. Do it, you will be so mighty. No, he removed the right guy, okay. But that's okay. And I don't see attackers here. That's great too. Yes, okay. So far so good. Let's play a fetch land. Let's say white. and green for the voice yes 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 here comes the voice and red mana for the blasphemous act kaboom and here come the bees all those little bees 
Can I redirect it to kill Karl? That would be nice. But I don't think I can. Well, I will find out. I will find out. Okay. Can I or can't I? No, I cannot. So I'm finished. Yes, lots of Hornet tokens and he sent me a message. Kaboom bees! Yay! Bees! That's right! Kaboom bees! So he's a fan. Okay. That's good to know. So, what are you gonna do? Pyroclasm. <laughs> now it works. Oblivion Stone works too. Warm Coil Engine doesn't. Now he might have a chance because he's five cards in hand. He must have some form of creature control besides the Oblivion Stone. Okay. Pyroclasm. Pyroclasm. That's tough. But okay. And another Karn. That's really tough. So what do I do now? Nothing. Now he's got me. No, there is no way to win this now. I was too confident. But that does not matter. Because I executed my combo. I won the first game. That's nice. Do I want to um, do something against um, artifacts? Do I want to do something against artifacts? Oh no, uh, honestly I don't. Let's try some sword seas here. I don't want the harvest pyre and the cut chain reaction. Just testing it. Still think natural affinity is fine against him. And this time I'm playing first, so Sartsis might be great. Question is what to pick. Very situational card in this um, matchup, but it all, will always find something nice, right? I'm pretty sure I submitted my deck. My computer is lagging, but that's okay. So, game. Starting in zero seconds. Hello, I'm still here. Could you please start the game, maybe? Oh my god. I'm pausing you. Okay, my computer finally. Um, decided it would be good to talk to me. Hmm, this hand looks keepable. I will have problems against really fast decks, uh, a really fast Tron hand, and I am opening with the red mana source, so I might be able to play the Reckoner on turn two if I draw another red source. Steam is downloading stuff in the background because it's the summer sale on Steam and I purchased some articles. 
expedition map. Okay. And I find another red source. Only question is, do I want to play the Boros Reckoner? I'm pretty sure I do. My life total does not matter much against this deck. And I'm taking... Taking... Taking the Godless Shrine here? Is this correct? I think it is. Yes. So... White... White... Red... For the Reckoner. And then I can start the beating. Yes, yes, just beat him to 13 life and then kill the Boros Reckoner with a uh, Blasphemous Act. Sounds good to me. Blood Artist. So it was great fetching black. He could have destroyed my bird, right? So green. Okay, let's deal some damage with the Reckoner. No, uh, black, green, blood artist. White and green for the boys. And then I continue the pe beatings here. Come on, let my voice resolve, it's all I want to do. Okay, he seems to have some trouble pausing you again. Here we are back again. I'm not sure what he's, why he didn't fetch, I don't know. I bet he had his reasons. I have no idea why he does it now and not at the end of my turn. Maybe he just clicked through my turn, then it was a bad play by him because he kept his mana open all the time. Maybe he should play Sylvan's Crying now and fetch later, I don't know. He's back in the think tank. And it's pause for you again. Oh, he sent me a message. But it's no pause. Well, that lagged out of me, skipped the end step. That's tough. Sorry for you. Sylvan's crying, okay. Uh, engine steering, Sylvan's crying, huh? What am I talking about? Why is this in the foreground? Go to the background. Oh, sometimes I hate computers, especially when they are lagging like this. Okay, pyroclasm, pyroclasm. That's okay, that's great. Place my triggers on the stack. Yes. I don't want to do anything in your turn. And pyroclasm doesn't do that much. So that's okay. Another Gavoni Township is okay too. I got the colors I need to pump my creatures next turn. Attack with all creatures. With all creatures pretty much lag. Today I have to time my um, my clicks exactly and he's down to five life and a million miles away from Tron so I don't think that he's gotten out here but you'll never know I'm lethal next turn with or without the Gavany Township so that's okay He 
can pyroclasm again. I don't mind. Sylvan's crying, that's okay too. Ursa's tower, okay. Still think this card is not good in the deck. Hornet Nest owning him right now. I'm pretty sure of it. Either while, okay, not interested. And I'm attacking with all creatures. And he sends me another jet. Good games. Good match. And it doesn't look like he's doing something, so I don't want to do anything. And are the bees going to beat Tron? Which is designed to beat creature decks like this one. Would be great for the bees and even greater if he just let them hit him. Yes, and I thank you for watching.